So, uh, I want to do a little science demonstration and a life hack all at once. So this is a Sharpie. Sometimes we use Sharpies in ways that we don't want to use them. Um, possibly using them instead of a dry erase marker by mistake. But uh, I've got a little life hack for Sharpies. And so I've got a beaker and I'm going to just uh, write on it with a Sharpie. Now, when we write on a beaker with a Sharpie, uh, it becomes permanent after a moment, and it does not wipe off. Now, so I'll take my dry erase marker, and I'm going to uh, put the dry erase marker, and I'm just going to scribble over the Sharpie ink, just like that. Now, if you are familiar with dry erase, you know that uh, it, you can write on glass and it will come off. As soon as the dry erase becomes dry, so then I'm just going to take the, the paper and let's see what happens here. And the Sharpie is gone, completely gone. This is a notebook, and you could have accidentally dropped your sharpie and you may have ended up with marks on your notebook that you don't want before you try this life hack trick make sure using like in a in a corner where make sure that you can erase the dry erase I've already tested this so once the dry erase becomes dry it will come off of the plastic notebook so back to our Sharpie marks. Now that they're good and dry, we just scribble over them with the dry erase to make sure that it becomes uh, dry so that it will erase. It's not wet erase. Now here's a couple of disclaimers. I have not tried this with every brand of permanent marker. I've tried it with Sharpies. I've not tried it with every brand of dry erase but it works with this one, it works with Expo. So before you do this, you know, you give, give some, some tests in those corners that you don't matter. It should be dry by now. And the dry erase takes away the Sharpie. Sometimes there's a little stain left, um, but you can deal with that. And the big test would be on the whiteboard. So if I were to put an X on the whiteboard at the risk of disappointing administration, I can take the dry erase pen. This one happens to be green. It doesn't really seem to matter what color you use. Once this dries, Permanent marker is gone. What? So how does this work? It is not magic. It is just a regular Sharpie, regular dry mark, regular piece of paper. But it, it has the uh, uh, effect of, of being kind of amazing. The way it works is the, the, the Sharpie goes onto the surface and then all of the liquids evaporate, leaving behind the black molecules. So the, pro the properties of solutions is what makes this happen. When the dry erase marker goes over the ink, it is wet and it has the properties of dry erase. It becomes the solvent and the molecules of the Sharpie marker then dissolve into the dry erase liquid. When the dry erase liquid evaporates it leaves behind this blob of dry erase property bearing ink and it will, it will erase away. So when the molecules of the Sharpie are dissolved into the
dry erase molecules, the whole mixture of the two, the whole solution, now takes on the properties of the dry erase. And then we can use the paper towel to get rid of it. So this is a, an example in, in uh, chemistry and physics of the solution that is very visual, where we have the solvent and the solute. The solute dissolves into the solvent, and then, we, then it takes on the, the, the primary characteristics of the solvent.